Hello, my precious friends. What a blessing it has been to be in this study of the Word of God this week. We've been along this theme now, the Great Controversy theme, which we've been studying this quarter, and this week was a blessing. I don't know about you, but I was blessed by this focus on truth, the safeguard and protection of the Word of God, and how important it is. You know, in our memory scripture, John chapter 12 and verse 35, we were reminded that we ought to walk in the light. Jesus says, just a little while and the light, the light won't be here. A walk in the light while you have the light. While you have the light. Walk in the light. We learned that compromise is Satan's subtle strategy. That, that which he can't do by coercion, that which he can't do by persecution, he does by compromise. By bringing into the faith things that do not belong there. That people get led astray by belief system and conspiracies that have nothing to do with God and have nothing to do with his word. Compromise is Satan's subtle strategy. But we learned also that God's scripture is a safeguard. That Jesus says in John 17, 17, that we can be sanctified by the truth for God's word is truth. That we can be safeguarded and protected by the word of God if we simply imbibe that word. That word is how Jesus met the sophistries and the falsities of Satan. Uh, when Satan came to him, he met him with a, it is written. Man shall not live by word, bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. This is how Jesus won battles. He won them in the word. He won them by focusing on truth. And that's how we too will win them. But there was something this week that caught my attention. And this is Paul's uh, emphasis in, in Acts chapter 20, that savage wolves. You remember that? We studied that on uh, on Monday's lesson, uh, uh, that, that savage wolves would come among us, that there would be people whose mission would be to take God's people away from his word, to take God's people away. Beware and be vigilant, beloved, of error and people who bring error. The Bible says in Acts chapter 20, that in verse 30, that they will rise right among the people of God. That they will rise up from within our midst, some within this very church that we belong to, are teaching error. And we've got to be people who, who don't just turn off our brains. Now, we were reminded this week as well that human reasoning away from Scripture is not a great thing. Human reasoning without Scripture and the Holy Spirit is not safe. But we ought to ask for the Holy Spirit, stay in the Word of God, and apply our, our God-given faculties to focusing on God's Word and being alert to error when it comes and when it shows up, no matter the packaging, no matter the person. We've got to be people of the book people of the truth of God, and people who walk in God's statutes. Finally, I want to say today, as we close, it's not enough to know things. In fact, knowing and doing are truly knowing. That is, until we do what we know, we really don't know it. There is a knowing that comes from doing the will of God. And so in my own life, in your life, I pray that these truths that we have learned about the importance of God's word to speak about, the need to study it, that we will not just learn and understand these things, but that we will do them day by day, walking with God in the light, so that the light of Jesus Christ shines in the darkness, dispels the darkness, clears the way for us to understand and come to God, and then to be reconciled to him. May God bless us as we think on these precious things.